I'm pleased to be back again for Midday Prayer. Thank you for joining me again for a series of reflections based on some pictures I've taken that have become for me prayer pictures. An opening prayer. Let us pray. In the infinity of sky, in the free flashing of lightning, in whirling elemental winds, you are God. In the impenetrable mists and gusts of lashing rain, in the brilliance of sunshine and in the ageless rocks, you are God and I bless you. You are in all things and contained by no thing. You are the life of all life and beyond every name. You are God, and in the eternal mystery, I praise you. Amen. So this picture of a dry stone wall, taken locally, speaks volumes to me. The many pieces fit together, all different. No two are the same. And there's no mortar, but they are held together simply by resting together. Rocks are important in scripture in so many ways. Jesus founded his church on Cephas, Peter the rock. And this speaks of the honesty of Peter's very human faith with its solid but sometimes fragmented and questioning nature. And of course, Jesus was buried in a tomb, hewn out of rock. So there's something elemental in this dry stone wall. My photograph is taken in the middle of the wall, which seems therefore to go on forever, without any beginning or any end. This wall does not keep things in or out, but it does define things. This wall defines our community of faith. All of us different, living stones, held together by resting and being together. From Matthew's Gospel, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And from Mark's Gospel, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. A short time of silence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.
closing prayer. O Lord our God, from whom neither life nor death can separate those who trust in your love, and whose love holds in its embrace your children in this world and the next, so unite us to yourself, that in fellowship with you we may always be held together with our loved ones, here or there. Give us honesty and faith in Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. Amen. Bye for now.